fans are sharing their stories of him, their lives, and their love of the Dodgers. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter joining us live at Dodger Stadium as a shrine to the legendary announcer is growing tonight. Leanne. Mark, so much love and loss here at Dodger Stadium tonight. As you said, a growing memorial. You see over my shoulder here outside at the sign right in front of the stadium. Candles, flowers and balloons all left in honor of an icon. Many tonight say Vin Scully wasn't just the voice of the Dodgers. He was the voice of baseball. It hurts, you know, it's sorry for being a little emotional about it. You know, being a kid in L.A., uh, Growing up, baseball is all I had, and Ben was there <laughs> every step of the way. I was here when, you know, they did his retirement ceremony, and, you know, it, it, it hurts. You know, the Dodger family definitely lost someone today that means a lot to us, and, you know, we love him, and everyone's going to be for him. Win for Ben. You know, it's a sad day for the city, uh, it's a sad day for baseball, but it's also bittersweet. You know, uh, Vin gave so much to the game, he gave so much to the city. Uh, people say the game of baseball is boring, but not with Vin. You know, with Vin, made it interesting, um, very knowledgeable, true gentleman, student of the game. Um, there'll never be another Vin Scully. Going to those games as a child and making those memories with my, my family, my grandparents, and hearing Vin Scully in the back, it's just an imprint on my memory that will never go away. So thank you for to Vin Scully and thank you for everything that he gave us. Well, we just wanted to pay our respects, you know, and um, we were like, down, we live down the street, so we're like, why not? I saw it on the TV and I screamed so loudly because it's devastating that we lost him, but he lived such an amazing life, and I'm glad that he was cognizant and aware until the very end. Just he's a master storyteller. Like you, it felt like every time you listened, you weren't just hearing about the, what, the play that was happening, but you were hearing the history of the game because he was a historian, essentially, as much as anything else. I was there at the 88 uh, championship, and I remember very clearly and you know it's just he's an icon he's he's an icon of LA who doesn't know Ben Scully I was heartbroken I mean I grew up in Los Angeles I'm not a Dodger fan not very popular but Ben Scully was baseball like he was growing up and hearing him on the radio it's it's just sad it's a sad day for baseball across the you don't have to be a Dodger fan to be sad about what happened today when I was young I used to hear him all the time on the radio I used to keep score uh, with him calling the game, so it's pretty special to come out here with my daughter and uh, celebrate his life. Oh, he was my inspiration to like become in the sports industry, I guess, because I want to do communications and work here. I'd like, be like him. I used to listen to Vince Scully on my transistor radio. I'm, you know, I'm 68 years old and, and uh, thought I had to come by and pay my respects. Growing up, listening to him every game. It's not the same, even though the new guys are doing great, but it's Vince, the best. He's gonna be missed. Even though I have a bad hand, I had to come over here. Where's my heart? Everybody's heart. Again, so much love and loss tonight here outside Dodger Stadium. There will never be another Vin Scully, so many of the fans say. The motto now for the rest of the season for the Dodgers, they say, win for Vin. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.